We're here in Baltimore, Maryland. We've been here for the better part of this week. We're at the Quest for Excellence Conference and we received our, our first Malcolm Baldrige Quality Award uh, representing Hawaii and all of Adventist Health. It's a tremendous honor. And so this week we're receiving the award, we're learning from other organizations, we're also sharing our story and our journey of how we've been able to reach this point. To see the caliber of companies and other people that are here, it is just tremendous that Castle had this opportunity to mix with the best of the best. We had a big ceremony. The uh, Under Secretary of Commerce gave us an award. You are making our nation a better place, one organization, one customer, one student, one patient, one employee at a time. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for being on the quest. You are the people who make this country great. We had the opportunity to be called up and Steve Bovey accompanied me to receive that award. And what an honor that was to stand and represent Council. When Kathy was on stage accepting the award, giving her acceptance speech, it made us all swell with pride. And it was really an amazing moment. As we've reached this summit in our Baldridge journey and I look around me at the top, I find myself surrounded by 1,100 of my closest associates, 300 trusted and skilled physicians, 250 treasured volunteers, a governing board that supports us in all that we do, our Adventist Health Leadership Team, and of course, my amazing family. We have climbed this Baldridge Mountain together, and the view from the summit is extraordinary. Monday evening, we took all of our Adventist Health and Adventist Health Castle folks to a, a little coffee shop that they closed down and turned into a restaurant for us. We had a number of folks from our board to our system leadership represented to really kick back and enjoy uh, the fruits of this uh, tremendous amount of labor. It's not a surprise to me, although it's a huge blessing that you won the Baldwin's Award. You are making Adventist Health exceptionally proud. Adventist Health is a richer place because of what you've accomplished, not just here, but with the patients who are at the center of everything. I just want you to know how really proud I am to be associated with you guys. We did something fun to celebrate the achievement and celebrate with everybody who was here, and also to celebrate our leader, Kathy, uh, who's been our leader on this journey for many, many years. It was a lovely evening for us to bond together and to enjoy the highlight of the week, the winning of the award. Having the Ball Ridge serve as a platform for Adventist Health Council to inspire other people, like other hospitals, to do better work. There's seven different categories. We're presenting on six of them. And it's just been a very proud moment to see our leaders stand on this national stage and present the work that they've become so passionate about. If anyone had told me 20 years ago that I would be standing here with you today, I would have said, no way. <laughs> but here we are. And so believe me when I tell you that uh, this Baldrige criteria can take you and your organization places that you never imagined. We want you to take particular note of our three core competencies, love matters, chasing zero, and executing strategy. We believe that these three competencies define our culture and transform and deliver our results. And the idea is to get out there on the front line, see what's happening, and to find and fix problems while they're small. When I think about the future and the opportunity that we now have to build to meet the needs of the future with healthcare changing, we can now make something different. We can make a campus that's built to meet those changing needs. So the challenge is how do you get physicians to be engaged in your organization and how do you get them to do it in the highest level? We want to make sure that they are getting ingrained into our culture and how we're going to do things. All of these mechanisms and routes of communication help align so that people can understand that why, which is so important to get people to buy in. Even though we know percentages and percentiles are important when you're comparing yourself nationally, we also know more intimately that it's a person, it's an impact of one event that's happened. There's a strong connection between healthcare outcomes and the use of empathy by healthcare providers. And so that is, for at least me, what love is in the healthcare context, it's empathy. We are really in the business of creating a culture 
where not only excellence matters, but love also matters. The culture that you've created and what you've done on purpose to live God's love is, is something that is unique and special. The work that's being done by our associates, this award is just a reflection of that work. It's the work we're doing every day, which people often forget that what they're doing is amazing. This is not just something that a small group of people here at the conference accomplished. We all did it together. And it's been so exciting to be all a part of that same one team and all of us growing together and, and sharing in that success. We're honored to receive the Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award for 2017. I'm so proud of our small but mighty organization.